Hello again everyone, I'm Dave Thomas and today I am building the Estes Star Hopper. This is a snap together model, requires no glue, and it's available as either a single kit or in the 12 kit education pack here. So I've got the education pack and really the only difference is that when you look inside each individual package they don't have the front cover art on it like the box does. As always, we want to check our parts list here against what actually comes in the package. And so, first of all, we have a two-piece engine mount and fin can, or fin assembly. And then the fins that go on to that, right here, right, they're also doubling as landing legs. Um, this piece is a little bit unusual. This is the shock cord mount. It kind of looks like an engine hook, but it's actually there to mount the shock cord. Okay. In place of an engine hook, we have a plastic engine retainer. And then we have the nose cone and the body tube that is pre-colored. We have a very small self-stick uh, decal pack there. And then our shock cord and our streamer. So it doesn't look like we're missing anything here. So I'm going to clear this away and we will get started. So the first thing we need to do here is take the fin can pieces. Right, and these are just going to snap together, put the pegs onto the holes there. And make sure the two pieces are lining up so you have threads on one end and smooth on the other. bit tight. There it goes. Okay, it's part of the snap together aspect of this. Okay, so just be kind of careful that some of these may take some firm squeezing. Um, just do it in a controlled manner. All right, don't just try and jerk them into place. Okay, just like that. And now next we're going to take the shock cord here and the shock cord mount. Okay, so first thing to do is tie a double knot onto the shock cord mount. Okay, and this is going through like that. and try to keep as much material on the long end as you can so you don't want a lot of material down here on the other end but you do want a little bit there okay so now I'm going to pull this from both directions both at once there so we make sure we've got a good firm knot now I'm going to cut off this back to about a quarter inch or about five or six millimeters there. Okay, now even though this says it doesn't require glue, I recommend taking just a little dab of white glue or wood glue and putting it on the knot there. doesn't take much. Oh, that's way more. Okay, just a little bit on that knot and work it in with your finger and then you can just remove the excess with a rag, paper towel, or tissue like that. Okay, and now this is going to go into this slot here. So down at the bottom of the slot there's a little hole. So this goes in like this. Okay. So I'm going to stick that in there and then oh, put it through the hole. Oh, there we go. The hole's actually offset to one side just a little bit. So it should look like this. Alright, and then we're going to take the body tube here, thread 
the remainder of the shock cord through that. All right, and there's two slots here. There's one there and another on the opposite side. Those are going to go over these little pegs, one on each side there. Okay, so I'm going to slide this over, and it's the body tube that's going to lock the um, shock cord mount in place. Right, and just push that in, and it, the two tabs on the fin can should lock into those two slot holes. Right. Next we're going to put the fins on. And so this, each one just snaps into these two holes and then you just push it forward. Okay, and we're just going to do the same thing all the way around. Okay, now note um, the launch lugs are built into this so we don't have to add a launch lug to it. Okay, and then we've got the motor retainer that's just going to screw on right here. Okay, now for the decals, we're going to need this. Before I put the decals on, I'm going to thoroughly wash my hands so I decrease the amount of fingerprints and oils that get onto the self-stick adhesive there. So I will be right back after I wash. Alright, we have two decals here. And it's kind of hard to see in the, the black and white image here, but if you check the box it's easier. So this long black line is going to extend from this line here. Okay, so whichever side that's on. Now, I think I am going to pull this back off if I can. All right, I'm going to turn it so that the uh, line there does not go past the launch lugs. There we go. So now my line is going to go down here. And then the colored part here, so these dashes of color, they're going to go down this um, face here, and then we won't have anything on the launch lugs, Okay, which is what we want, because when this is on the, the launch stand, it's going to be facing us like that. Okay, so here I'm just going to pull this off and try and handle it by the edges as much as you can. Okay, now this is going to go right here. Once you got it in place, just smooth it down. That's that one. All right, then we're going to move over to the other face here. And the colored one just goes down the middle of this. Now keep in mind, um, the decals are not necessary for flight. Uh, so you can put them anywhere you like. You can omit them completely. That part's up to you. Okay. Um, I'm doing mine to at least closely match the packaging here so you get an idea. But again, you don't have to do it this way. All right. Next we need our shock cord and the nose cone here. So just like we did on the other end, we're going to tie a double knot in this. Ooh, almost too short there. Okay, and once again, go ahead and just add a little tiny drop 
of wood glue or white glue if you have it. Again, that's just to lock the knot into place. All right, and then once more, go ahead and trim this back to about four to, or excuse me, about five to six millimeters, or about a quarter of an inch. And then lastly, we need to put the streamer on. Now they're showing uh, tying the streamer to the shock cord here. I prefer not to do that. Instead, I'm going to use some transparent tape here. Take off that rough piece. Alright, so take the streamer here, um, and you'll notice it's got kind of a ragged edge. Go ahead and take scissors or a hobby knife and just snip that off. Okay, and now I'm going to take my tape. Uh, it's hard to see, it's transparent tape here. Uh, about about an inch and a half. Okay, and I'm going to take about a third of the tape there and just tack it on to the streamer. Now I'm going to turn this over so now the rest of the tape has its sticky side up. Okay, and I'm just going to put this down. Now on the streamer, they should indicate here that this should be about three inches from the nose cone, or about almost eight centimeters there. So a rough guesstimate would be right about here. So I'm going to lay this right along the edge. Um, now I'm not stretching it here, so just let it lie in a relaxed state. And I'm going to fold my other tape piece here all the way over. Okay, so the tape is sandwiching the shock cord between itself and the streamer. Okay. Now, if you're ready to launch, what you'll do is put um, two pieces of recovery wadding down inside here, loosely crumpled. Um, and then the streamer, start by just folding this over on itself lengthwise a few times. I don't recommend trying to roll it up from the end. It's really tedious. And it actually takes it longer to deploy that way. Okay, so just keep folding it end over end until you get to a little tiny package here. Alright, now I'm not putting recovery wadding in mine because I'm not going to launch it right away. And so now I just stuff that down. Alright, including the excess shock cord. Okay, now when we put this together, we want to make sure that there's no shock cord getting caught in between the shoulder of the nose cone and the body tube itself. So it feels like it's it's really difficult to get in there. That means you probably trapped it. Okay. So now with everything in there, take the whole rocket and just shake it upside down. Okay. What we want is the nose cone to stay in place and it is, um, but it's still easy to move in and out. Alright, if this comes out really easily when you shake it, then just put on a little bit of masking tape onto the shoulder to just increase its diameter a little bit. And you don't necessarily have to wrap the whole thing. You might only need about half a circumference there. If it's really tight, again, check and make sure that your shock cord is not getting caught, because that's usually the problem. Okay? If that's not the problem, then you can take a little bit of sandpaper and sand that shoulder a little bit at a time, checking it again. Okay, and with that, my Star Hopper is finished. This can be taken out to the launch field immediately and launched. Hope you have a great flight and a safe recovery, and please stay tuned for more of my videos.